This weekend, uh, members of the 4th Battalion, the Princess of Wales Royal Regiment, have been taking part in a synthetic training serial using SAFTAC. The technology itself is hugely beneficial on a range of platforms. This type of technology is the way that our future soldiers will enjoy to learn and will learn and the technology will enhance them in the field as we have demonstrated this, this weekend. So Symptomatic Technologies are a, a veteran-ran technology company. The software that we've brought today is called SAFTAC. It's a defence simulation platform built upon the world-leading Unreal Engine. And it's important to understand that SAFTAC has not been designed to replace live or real training. But however, we have spent years developing our solution it's therefore if troops can't conduct field training or for a valid reason such as kind of time constraints, budget or even logistical constraints, we wanted to ensure that we had something kind of portable, affordable, easy to use and crucially realistic and engaging as a next best option in order to ensure that they get the most value out of the training time that they've got available. I've been the instructor for today's training and we've gone through effectively the basics of a section attack. So we started in the morning with some very basic sort of uh, pocketbook lessons. So that's us physically explaining what a section attack is to the guys, going through the basics of fire and manoeuvre. We came outside, we then rehearsed it in the same way we would do any other normal lesson. Then the next phase, we're on to the battle lesson, we put the headsets on into VR, and we actually run the initial battle lessons in the VR platform. So that's taking them from individual fire and manoeuvre, so working as pairs, up to fire team, and then through to section, all using the VR headsets. So for us, in the Army Reserve, getting good quality tactical training is tough. We've only got Wednesday nights, we get two hours on a Wednesday, we get one weekend a month. So to try and put on really good quality training is difficult. Having a system like this, which we can come in on a Wednesday night with a two hour slot, we can pick it up and we can get good quality tactical training being conducted on a Wednesday, that's invaluable. Because at the moment, we don't have a system in place where we can really do that. And there's no system in place where we can do it as effectively as we've been able to do this weekend using this VR kit. Oh, it's so engaging, it's great. You're able to put the headset on and get yourself inside of a war zone. I mean, it's fantastic. Teamwork and communication really has developed very quickly, but it also, the training aspect of it and the, the enhancement to training um, is really valuable. Be able to get sort of an in the field activity on a Wednesday night, I mean, that's phenomenal, that's really, really great. So being quite a new recruit to the unit, um, haven't done many section attacks before, so it was quite nice to be able to put into practice um, on the simulation, on the VXR, what we were going to do outside in the field. I felt a lot more confident going outside as a new recruit, being part of a section that I've got some experienced soldiers in there as well. So for myself, it was a good confidence builder. It was nice to be able to see how that all comes together as well. On the ground outside, you only really see your part and your section's part, but it was nice to have a real you know, overview of what was going on through the simulation. The troops have clearly enjoyed the experience. It's rare to have troops during off time, during meal breaks, to be asking to go back onto the technology as groups and practicing. The enthusiasm has been palpable.